At Kent State University, student workers are heavily relied on. Almost every building that provides a service on the main campus employs students. Dining halls see heavy amounts of traffic at all hours of the school day. And on top of the pressure that student workers face from their jobs, they also take on pressure for being college students. One student, Alina Shrestha, used to work at the Design Innovation Hub and shared her thoughts with us. I moved here for around three months. Was there a specific location that you worked at? Yeah, at the DI Hub. Okay, and then what was your position there? Uh, just food service worker. Um, what tasks did you complete on a daily basis? So I would be assigned to station. Sometimes I would be assigned to desert, sometimes gluten solution, sometimes at the wrong grill, and yeah, that's it. Okay, so I got paid around 10.50, yeah, 10.50 per hour, yeah. I want to also make a living because living and then getting the groceries and paying for my bills uh, they they aren't like really helping out with all of these bills. Like it would be fair for them to pay the students around like two to thirteen dollars per hour if they're willing to consider it. So why do you believe that that would be good? Because that would be help to pay my bills, so like the rent, the groceries, and then if I had to buy any materials, then the phone bills and insurance and everything. According to the Kent Stater, the Kent State dining halls have been understaffed since the pandemic started. These understaffed workers are also getting paid below what is considered an average living wage in the United States. No Kent State student worker makes over $12 an hour in the first place, and most workers make $11 an hour. Uh, given that there are other universities are, that are finding a way to pay students a living wage, I think it would be to the advantage of both the university and the students to pay a living wage as well. Okay. That's Dr. Chick Kinfora, an assistant professor in journalism at Kent State. The average living wage in the United States is $15 an hour, and most student workers have to pay their tuition or loans along with housing. Kent State does provide some tuition reimbursement for employees, but it's only partially waived if an employee has worked a large number of hours. According to Dr. Canfora of Kent State, increasing pay to $15 an hour has benefits for both parties involved. What do you think would be an adequate wage for student workers and why, if you have an idea well, of what? At least a minimum of $15 an hour, but I think more would be better so that students don't go off campus to a growing number of companies that are paying $15 an hour. I'd say that there would be a tremendous advantage for students to stay on campus. And if there's a way for universities to find um, it within their budgets to invest in their students' ability to live and work on campus, they would have a much richer campus experience and a much fuller campus life. Not only do students have potential tuition payments to worry about, they also have to find suitable housing, whether at the college dorms or campus apartments. Along with housing, students have to find ways to eat and pay all the other bills that come with life. Many college students don't have long distance transportation to a job either, so some of their only options for jobs are places close to the school. Throughout the pandemic, student workers haven't seen any increased support from their employers. If student wages aren't going to be matched to what the living wage is, then support for workers has to come in some other shape.